Hello guys, today we'll be looking at how to um, calculate uh, the magnitude of current. So, um, the question goes like this. A conductor material has a free electron density of 10 raised to the power of 24 electrons per meter cube. When a voltage is applied, a constant drift velocity of 1.5 times 10 raised to the power of minus 2 meters per second is attained by the electrons. If the cross-sectional area of the material is one centimeter square calculate the magnitude of the current they gave us the electronic charge is 1.6 times 10 to the power of minus 19 coulombs so the first thing we need to do is for us to bring out our parameters or data so in this case they told us that our free electron which is n or number of free electrons is given by n equals to 10 to the power of 24 and they gave us our area they told us our area is equals to one centimeter square one centimeter square so um since we're going to convert this centimeter to meter we're going to and we know that converting centimeter to meter we have to divide by 100 so converting centimeter to meter we divide by 100 two times so we'll be left which is equals to 10 raised to the power of minus 4 meter square. So now we're not giving our, our electronic charge. Our electronic charge was given as 1.6 times 10 raised to the power of minus 19 coulombs. And we're giving our drift velocity, that means the velocity at which the electron was moving as 1.5 times 10 raised to the power of minus 2 meter per second. So um, now we have our, our four main data. We have our number of um, free electron density or the number of electrons. We have our area in which we converted to meter we have our electronic charge which is always a constant 1.6 times 10 to the power minus 19 and we have our the velocity in which the, the electron is moving so now we're going to use the magnitude of the current which is i which is equals to formula which is n a e v so n is the number of um, free electron is the area is the electronic charge v is the velocity so putting every all our data into the formula we have i which is equals to 10 raised to the power of 24 times 10 raised to the power of minus 4 our area times 1.6 times 10 raised to the power of minus 19 and times our velocity which is 1.5 times 10 raised to the power of minus 2 so now multiplying all, we have our i which is equals to 0 0.24 amperes. 0 0.24 amperes. So this is our final answer. Thank you.